Hello and welcome to today's video. Today is a day about this stuff. So we all have all these cables and you know converters and all that kind of stuff that we uh, carry around and there are a lot of different products around for helping to organize that and one that uh, a brand that I love for this is Alpaca, uh, an Australian based company uh, and they make great modular uh, bags and accessories. And one we're looking at today is this. This is the Elements Tech Case. So this is the mini version. There's a couple of different sizes. This is the mini. And this particular edition uh, is the Eco RX30 edition. Uh, and uh, this is the blue version of that. There's also an orange version. So we're going to look at this, look at the parts and features. I'm going to do a bit of a fill of it and uh, we'll talk about some pros and cons. So as I said, this is the Eco RX30 edition, and that's the name of this material. It is a recycled uh, material, and uh, it's a it's like a um, a recycled polyester fabric, um, and it's got a number of really great uh, features, you know, in terms of the pockets and the compartments and all of that kind of stuff. This is super resilient material. Uh, it's quite weatherproof. Um, and it's a uh, you know like it does show a few little scratches and marks and things like that, but. Uh, it's it's quite resilient in terms of you know like catching and you know getting damaged and things like that. So let's talk about the parts of features. First thing I want to say is the branding on these bags and these cases is really nice. It's very simple and very clean. I really enjoy that. Um, on the outside, you've got a pocket here on the front with these lovely weatherproof uh, zips, which are absolutely great. Um, you see the inside is this uh, ripstop nylon, and it's in this beautiful honeycomb sort of pattern with the orange. Uh, and so you've got this front pouch here, which is quite big. The opening of the pouch doesn't go all the way across, so there's a little bit of extra sort of space on the side there. Uh, but it's very, uh, it's, it's got a good size, and because it's got a little bit of expansion on the front in terms of, you know, the, the depth of the bag, it's good. You open up the main compartment now, and uh, once again, we get that same material and the black lining as well. And there's a bigger sort of pocket there on the back. You've got the tag there that gives uh, you know, the Apaca logo again. Large pocket there, which is slightly padded. Uh, grab something like a Kindle or a, you know, one of those iPad minis or something. You get a zip pouch here. A good strong zip again. Nice sort of sturdy size. Um, the open space in the middle of the case is great. Then we get two sort of, a, sort of more mesh style pouches there on the side. And then a pen loop on the top there. Very handy. And then on the back of the... The pouch here we have um, a grab handle which is very handy and two little extra slots there because this comes with a strap it comes with this shoulder strap very simple basic strap um, to be able to make this into like a sling style carry uh, it's got these very strong um, clips to hold it in place uh, it is easy to get on harder to get off um, so it's not the kind of case that you're going to like just swatch swap in and out on a daily basis but it's really um, it's very it's a very nice, simple uh, way of making this a nice sort of little tech carry if that is what you're into. The dimensions of the Elements Tech Case Mini are 230 millimeters by 135 millimeters by 50 millimeters. Now that is also dependent on how much you carry and how much you can fit in there. Um, and it is 200 grams empty. So once again, that will change depending on what you carry. If you are carrying simple cables and things as opposed to hard drives and all that kind of stuff, it's gonna be the weight will depend on all of that. The Elements Tech Case Mini retails for 55 US dollars and there are a number of colors available. So this is this particular Eco RX30 uh, version and there's two colors, the orange and the blue available in that. There's a range of other colors available uh, in other material as well. Um, so check out the Alpaca website. I'll link to it down below and you can sort of see what's around. As I said, there's also different sizes uh, of this tech case and a, a number of other versions of tech cases and bags from Alpaca as well. So let's do a quick fill of this now and uh, we'll see how we go. So first thing I'm gonna put in here is a pen um, because I always carry a pen and it's a nice sort of elastic uh, pen loop there. So we get, so this is the Stablo Flow Fountain Pen, um, one of my sort of everyday carry pens because it's resilient and writes well and affordable and that kind of stuff. It's, a, it's a, not a small pen and it fits very nicely in there, but because it is elastic, you can put sort of more sort of standard size pens in there as well. Now, as I said, the way I sort of use this case a lot is for things I carry on the go. So I always carry earplugs and a USB drive and, you know, I've got like 
uh, HDMI sort of converter there uh, for my or um, USB converter for my laptop uh, and then just a range of other cables which I'll just sort of put in here uh, charging brick there we can put that down in one of those slots there uh, maybe even uh, you know that's another charging brick but it could be a small hard drive or something like that I'm going to put my uh, Kindle here in that back pouch which is what that's kind of a good size for that and they actually make a selling point of um, that and we'll just fill up with more cables and a couple of little power converter things. Just juggle those items around a bit and we can get this done up. So that's a pretty full fill. Sometimes I've even included another like HDMI cable in there depending on sort of what you're carrying. You can see there's a little bit of uh, give in that. And then something in that front pouch, like you might want to, you know, put your keys or something uh, like that. If you're particularly if you're carrying this as a sling, it becomes a very handy sort of uh, way of carrying all those things for your pocket. You know, so you're not having to have full pockets all the time. Now, as you can see, that is definitely more than 50 millimeters because I have put quite a lot of stuff in here. It's quite full. It can hold quite a lot of stuff, and especially because. Um, when you get it open, you have good access to everything because of this like accordion style uh, opening, which gives really great access deep into the case, uh, particularly if you're carrying sort of a fair amount of stuff. So what are some of the pros and cons? Well, obvious, uh, like there's a lot of pros with a case like this. Obviously things like the fact that it is well built, like all the sewing is consistent and it's strong and the materials that they use, the rips, the ripstop nylons and the um, RX-30, uh, you know, sort of, you know, uh, polyester materials, they're all really resilient. So both resilient to weather, of course, with these lined um, zips as well, waterproof zips, um, all very, you know, water resistant and, um, and uh, sturdy. But I think also because these zips and the, the way that all these seams sort of are sewn in is that it gives a bit of buffer to the case as well. So there's a strength to it. So what you are putting in there, things like your Kindles and your hard drives and those kinds of products, which you don't want to see banged around, you don't want to get them damaged. This is, you know, it's, it's nicely padded and nicely protective of your items. I think at this price point at 55 US dollars, there are obviously versions of this, uh, both from Alpaca and other brands, uh, that are sort of um, at a lower price point. But this one comes with a lot of sort of features, like a lot of those waterproof zips, as I said, the capacity it holds, the fact it can be converted into, um, you know, a, a little sort of mini sling style bag um, is a nice feature. Um, and also the fact that it uses recycled material and it's waterproof and all of those kinds of things, or water resistant, I should say, uh, you know, like it's, it's really, it's, it's got a lot of good things going for it. Obviously, you know, downsides with any case, and particularly when you're talking about a mini case, uh, is the capacity of what it will hold. Um, you know, you've only got so much room in that in that case so do you do need to tailor what you get to what you are expecting to carry so for me for instance this is great for my bag because uh you know it doesn't take up a whole lot of real estate it sort of fits nicely around other things um and it carries enough stuff for me so that when i'm going to work or on tour or whatever and i need access to cables you know to charge everything from phones to watches to you know uh well kindles and whatever i can fit a lot in here and in fact if you sort of strip it out and you you know just take it as the daily essentials this is a great case for that you know you put your phone charger your laptop charger um you know power brick maybe a hard drive that kind of thing and you can actually fit all that in here without any issue and everything is protected and that's the point of these cases and that's what a packer do particularly well they've thought these things out they, you know, the, the compartments and the, the layout of the bag are all designed to be user friendly. Uh, and it's like, I think the, a great feature is the way that that bag sort of opens up to give you really good access, you know, to everything in every sort of pouch without having to like wrestle or fight. The only pouch I find hard to use at times is this front one because, you know, like there's a little bit of extra space around the side here that just, you kind of like, particularly when the bag is, the case is sort of full of stuff, like you have to actually get right down in there to sort of be able to get anything. So like whether this, you know, like if you're carrying keys and wallets and things like that, it's probably fine. If you're carrying smaller items in there, like it's just a little bit fiddlier because that doesn't open up all the way. That's the only real nitpicky kind of thing I have to say. Everything else is great, good zips, good material, good layout, fairly decent price point. Uh, and um, generally just a really great, useful and functional product. And that's the key with a lot of these things. It's the functionality. So this was the Element Tech Case Mini from Alpaca.
Um, check them out on you know social media and all that kind of stuff, and uh, you know, go to their website and see just the range of products they've got. I think is really great. Um, so thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notifications button. All of that kind of stuff. Uh, big thank you to our packer for supporting uh, these product reviews because uh, I like to get gear out there that I think is really useful and made well and you know functional. And uh, these are these are that. So big thank you to them. Big thank you to you, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.